today, Chef Preston Clark is the executive chef of New York City hotspot Lure Fish Bar. It is known for its bold seafood forward menu, attracting celebrities, Taylor Swift, LeBron James, the Beavers, you name them, they've been there, and I've come many times. And in 2024, he wants more of something that we may not know by name, but we all know and love when it comes to the taste and flavor. Team fam, please welcome to our show, Chef Preston Clark. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that we have the wheel spinning here. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, what do you want more of in 2024? I want more umami in 2024. Umami. Umami, 100%. Okay. Now, <laughs> you do realize you just sent half the audience to Google. I uh, sure All right, so <laughs> define umami because so, I had to look it up Right, too. so umami is one of the key uh, flavor profiles, okay? Everybody knows sweet, everybody knows salty, everybody knows bitter, everybody knows sour. Umami is the fifth and the greatest one of all. Oh. It is the essence of deliciousness. Essence of, so you want the essence of deliciousness. On everybody's plate. Okay, I'm in. All right. And now you have credibility here because you, you lure obviously is a hot spot, but your father was the first black James Beard award-winning chef. He most definitely was. <laughs> He most definitely was. Um, opening, opening, chef, uh, opening chef of the Odeon, uh, when he, right before, when he passed away, he was the executive chef at Tavern on the Green, right across the street. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that, that is emotional for me. We are just steps away yep. from where right, your dad uh, right, was right there. Here, right oh here. my gosh, well I know he's proud of you. I am ready to try this, so what do you have so here for So we are basically making a surf and surf. We're going to uh, make a seared filet and some sea scallops. We're going to serve it with a, a little. Not just a seared filet. Right. <laughs> it is a mouth-watering, buttery, delicious, <laughs> seasoned, <laughs> seared filet with juicy, amazing, yeah. unforgettable <laughs> scallops. Okay. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to mix that. We're going to we're going to cook it with a little bit of mushrooms. We're going to cook a little bit of miso, a little bit of soy, and all of these things. We're going to create an umami bomb. It's going to be the most delicious thing that you can eat. And the only I'm thing, ready. Valentine's Day is coming up, so if you don't if oh. you're not going to come visit me at Lore, maybe try cooking some of this for us for your loved one in your house because okay, it's very easy. Okay, let's go. Let's and go. So. All right. The QR code at the bottom of the screen has all the full recipe. I love that you even gave us a time to make this. This is a perfect Valentine's Day meal. Okay, it here we go. It definitely is. So we start with seasoning our filet. We're going to season it with a little bit of salt mm -hmm. and a little bit of smoked paprika. Oh, nice. All right, and you're going to put it in a screaming hot pan. A screaming hot pan. Just a little bit of oil, and we're going to get that going. Oh, that is screaming hot. Yeah, that's a screaming hot pan. So basically, open your windows and turn <laughs> on the fan in your oven when you cook this. Because you're getting that real sear. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. We really want to caramelize the outside. We really want to like caramelize that. the outside of that meat to make sure we lock in those juices. Okay, so now, let's see. We're going to sear that filet on all sides, but what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you watch the meat. Yes, chef. And while I'm watching the meat, <laughs> that's right. And I'm going to start bear. with the scallops. You know, it's one of my favorite shows, The Bear. <laughs> yes, chef. That's what I want to do. So these okay. were our sea scallops here. Ooh. Right now, a lot of people don't know, there's a muscle here that you need to make sure that you take off before uh, you start cooking these scallops. Yeah. See this little muscle here? I'm going to pull it off. See, that muscle's got to go because it, uh, it becomes chewy Ugh. and it's just not very delicious, very unpleasant. And it's easy to take off. Just pop it right just off. Right off. Okay. So we'll get our scallops going. Okay. Why don't you uh, just take that meat and check and see what it looks like on yes, that side. And I'm going to get these scallops going. Ooh. Let me turn here. I'm turning it over. Perfect. Yep, all the all way right. over. Yes, sir. And that's a nice sear you that got. That is there. a nice sear. That's a the nice pan sear. was really, really hot, so you can't be afraid of the smokiness because that's the only way you can get that nice crispy layer on the meat and holes in the juices. It is correct. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to be afraid of the heat. I told you I cook. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have our uh, meat searing. Mm -hmm. We have our scallop searing. Now these scallops are going to cook really fast. They're going to cook very, very quickly. Okay. So you want to make sure that we're watching them. Okay. Right when you start to see the gold around the edges, yeah. you want to make sure we're checking them. So All right. Check when you look back at the memories of watching your dad in action and the influence that he had on your culinary journey as well, how do you how do you describe it? I would not be anywhere without my parents. Mm. Uh, and it, I would not be anywhere without my parents. Um, it's uh. Absolutely unbelievable. One of the biggest things that he taught me is if, uh, you know, you do unto people as you would have them do unto you. Yeah. Absolutely. 
And here you and are with your restaurant with every celebrity in the world, it seems, coming in there. Are, you, are, you, are you, know? you, like, spying on Taylor Swift <laughs> to see what she's ordering? Like, Taylor, you don't eat no, that? No, not at all. They, okay. they come in here to see you have a good food. Make sure you're watching that piece. Oh, there. gosh. I'm trying all to get right, celebrities make sure. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Preston. He's so like, So we have our over. scallops here. Yeah. I had just added a little bit of butter to this pan. Ooh. Right, and you can see those nice, delicious golden scallops. Beautiful. Give them a little bit of brown butter flavor. Okay, and, and I I'm love the foam from the butter there. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to oh. squeeze a little bit of lemon. Lemon. I'm going to continue to sear my steak a little bit, medium rare. Plus, coming up, Chef Preston shows us the power of umami with his mouth-watering savory, creamy white miso soy butter sauce. Next. <laughs> Welcome back, KFM. Chef Preston Clark is still with us. Before the break, we seared our juicy scallops, and the filet is medium rare, plus the way I like it. And now we're going to work on an umami bomb full of flavor. That is 100% right. Okay. So this is where this is where the uh, the umami really comes into the dish. Oh boy. We have our uh, king trumpet mushrooms or royal trumpets. Uh, you can use, uh, this is like I, one of my favorite mushrooms to use, but if you can't find it, you can substitute it with any other uh, uh, mushroom that you can find in the store. So again, we're going to start with just a little bit of oil in the pan. Uh -huh. And we're going to put our mushrooms in and we're going to put them uh, face side down. Right? We cut them in half and we're, we kind of scored them, but we're going to put them in just face side down. We're going to cook them for about three minutes. Now, do you cook for yourself? I mean, I always imagine when you're a chef and you're 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 always busy. The restaurant's always busy. When you go home, do you cook for yourself? I most definitely do. You do. Yeah, I cook. You know, when I when I am home, you know, I'm definitely at the restaurant a bit. But uh, when I go home, especially on Sundays, I like to cook for oh. for my son. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, is he a great chef? Uh, he's uh, you know he's he's working on it. 12, 12 years old. Your son is twelve years he's old. He's about twelve years old. So he, you know he's but he's pretty good. He's, he's pretty, pretty good. good. Well, he's pretty good with breakfast, bacon and eggs. Okay, go wrong with that. <laughs> I saw this knife and I said to chef, "What is the story with this knife?" And yeah, so this is just a knife that my father gave to me uh, before he passed away. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, it's. Uh, Super, super sharp, super sharp. <laughs> right, it <laughs> super looks like sharp. it. Uh, and I really don't go anywhere without it. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful family legacy from your son who's 12, your father who taught you this. So this recipe here, again, you said this is fantastic for if you want some special occasion, Valentine's Absolutely. Day. Absolutely, and, okay. and it really just, with, that, with, the, with the umami bomb, it just really brings out so much flavor mm. and so much uh, taste in the, in the food. It, uh, it really just makes the meal time unbelievable. So you're We're gonna add a little bit of uh, garlic. Okay. And I like to, uh, this is a great technique to use to just kind of zest it instead of having to chop it. Yeah. You know, um, as far as the filet goes, you know, we were able to finish it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and we kind of baste it. A little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. That's called arrosé. You want to make sure you uh, get the final flavor on the on the on the meat, and you baste it. So as our mushrooms are cooking, we yeah. add a little bit of salt. We add a little bit of garlic. We're gonna let those cook down, and then we're, what we do is we finish it with a little bit of parsley. Oh. All right. So next, we're gonna start on our sauce here, and this is another part. This is the second part of the umami bomb that we're adding to our dish. Right? We have our miso. We have a little bit of. Eel sauce, oh. right? Yeah, eel sauce, you can find it uh, in most of the local grocery stores. If not, you can substitute it for sweet soy. Oh, nice. Right? We have a little bit of most mustard powder, paprika, orange juice, lemon juice. And you take all these ingredients and mix them up, and this is our mustard base. This is a mustard base, a miso mustard. Oh. And we take this miso mustard and we make a base. Okay. So we take our miso mustard, and this is the base that we made. And the base, basically, this what you do is. This all turned into this? This all turned into this. Oh. All this all oh. turned into this. Oh, wow. With the addition of a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. And so, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a little bit in our pan. We're gonna add some butter. Oh, I love how much butter you use. No, not that much. It's not like the that joy much. Of not my that life. much. Well, listen, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you could have slid that whole thing in there and it would have been okay with me. All right. So basically, it's a pan sauce. You want to make sure you emulsify the butter into the sauce. Now, the a nice way to finish this is with a little bit of lime zest. Okay. Will you grab that zester and a lime? Oh gosh, which one is that? This. Oh, <laughs> oh the microplane. That's the one. See, I actually know the name, chef. Very Thank good. you. Can you give me All a little right. bit. Of, give me a little bit of zest right there. A little there. zest on there. Yeah. Okay. I feel pressure around you now. No, no, don't feel like that. No, I You mean, sound like my line cooks now. No, I do. Oh, that's the, see, you're well, intimidated. We're afraid of you, chef. I'm not afraid. I'm intimidated. <laughs> Is it the same thing? Okay, there you go. Perfect. All right. Perfect, perfect. All right, I don't want to mess up in front of the chef. So you've got so, your mushrooms. You've got a little bok choy over there you prepared yeah, earlier. So we're gonna, yeah, so we're going to serve it with a little bok choy, and I think okay. we're ready to plate. All right, I'm ready to eat. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see. 
Okay, so okay. let's start with our filet. All right. Okay. Let me start with our filet. Let's oh my gosh. Right a little bit of bok choy. Okay. And why do you like the bok choy with this? Oh, I love that. Just because I just think it just adds such a, a great vegetable element. Okay. You know, and then as we serve it with a little bit of red chilies, a I little see. bit of soy sauce. Beautiful. Right. We'll probably we'll garnish it with a little bit of sesame oil. But your attention to detail is phenomenal. Thank you. Well, let's plate our mushrooms next. Do you remember the first big meal you ever prepared for someone? Um, Thanksgiving, I think, Thanks at my house. Oh, you yeah. went big, okay. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Right, the I'll anticipation go. alone of this is driving me crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just dive in. <laughs> we'll finish with our scallops. Scallops, this is absolutely beautiful. So remember the QR code, bottom of the screen, the entire recipe is here. I'm gonna cut a little steak. Oh, on. wow, the, this is you perfect. More, you got one more part. Oh, I have more? The so oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, look. I always wonder with the surf and turf, are you supposed to put it both on one bite? It doesn't matter. There is no wrong answer. Oh, there's no wrong answer. <laughs> there's no wrong answer. Oh my God, it's soft. All right. <laughs> Mouth watering, coating your tongue, the essence of deliciousness. I keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep describing what's happening to me right A now. A little bit of bok choy will just kind of cut. Cut through the palate. Ooh. A little bit of chilies will give you a little bit of heat. How is it that one sauce can complement so many different things? Uh, if you pick the right sauce. Oh gosh. Right, um, made with the proper techniques, and you know we have that. We're, we're focusing on um, more umami, more umami in 2024, and this sauce oh. is the essence of umami, coupled with the mushrooms. <laughs> I'll tell you two things. I will be very honest with you. I normally don't like bok choy, so you saw me try to eat around it. <laughs> you have changed my whole feeling oh, thank, about bok choy. Excellent, excellent. That heat <laughs> from the chili. Thank you. When I tell you the scallops, the sauce, the steak, the sauce is impeccable. Thank you. You are a giant thank in this you business. Very much. Let me thank tell you, you. I'm swearing you. you are the real deal. <laughs> thank you Preston so much. Clark, Executive Thank you, guys. Chef Lewis, Thank you.